With all of DJI's newest stuff coming out lately, specifically the Spark and the Mavic, of course, they have some really cool video modes. So one of them being Active, active Track. So when you set that up, basically you draw a box around whatever it is you want to try and follow and have it go after them. So one thing that's come up that I've tried before is what happens when I'm out with the family riding bikes and I want to do Active Track. Well, that's okay, but the problem is trying to control this, hold the tablet, hold the controller, steer the bike, pedal, make sure the Mavic isn't you know flying into something or the spark isn't about to hit a building is a lot of work. So there, I've been trying to find kind of a decent option, obviously with some of the uh, controller mounts and everything, they come with lanyards so you can put it around your neck. However, I don't really want something hanging off of my neck while I'm doing that. I still want to be able to, to control it and use the controller and the tablet. And so I've been trying to find a good mount that I can try to put on the bicycle. So I finally found one, and so I picked this up. Basically, it is a bicycle holder uh, that mounts onto the controller. So this for sure works with the Mavic, but I'm also going to be trying it out with the Spark controller. And if this works, then you can basically set this up, have your controller and the tablet on the handlebars, still have full control to everything, but you're also not having to try to hold the tablet controller and you know steer the bicycle pedal watch everything you just basically ride your bike like normal and you have the screen right there so you can see uh, easily draw over something to active track yourself or another family member on a bike or anything else basically that's going to have a bar that this can clamp onto so this should make life a little bit easier so let's get that unboxed put it on a controller and then obviously give it a shot and try it on a bicycle and see how well it works and if i'm able to control and access the tablet as easily as I'm hoping I can. Here it is itself when I sh uh, ordered this. It got here actually really fast, so that was nice. Comes in a pretty small box. And if you, of course, are looking for this, take a look at the description. You'll find a link for it. So let's get this opened up and see what we've got in here. So when you first open it up, looks like we've got some directions on how to use it. Clamp it on there, clamp it on stuff, have fun. Cool. And it looks like this is actually pretty simple. Um, looks like there is two parts in here. The first one is going to be the part that actually clamps onto the bicycle, um, which is this part right here. So it looks like you unscrew that and it's got a rubber pad on here and it also comes with a smaller one in case the handlebar is thicker or something like that. So unscrew that and wrap it around the handlebar. So that should be good. And it looks like it's got Kind of a swivel mount so then that way you can adjust depending on how uh, what direction you have or maybe the handlebar is, is tweaked a little bit and you know not perfectly straight you can still have that but still adjust it so your tablet is perfectly straight so it comes with that and tighten that down just a little bit so i don't lose anything and then it looks like this is the tablet mount it's or the controller mount itself so the way it works is you pop this piece onto your controller and that pops onto the back basically and pinches it. So I'll put that on there in a second. And then this has basically a quick release on it. So then that way, when you wanna put it in there, slide it in and you can tighten it down and push down on there and it clamps it. So that way it holds it nice and tight. But then because it's that quick release, when you wanna remove it, you just flip that up, take that off and you can walk around with your controller now. So let me get the mount attached to the controller here and we'll figure out just how well this works. So here's the piece itself. It's pretty pretty stiff, but it does flex a little bit and so hopefully we can get it onto the controller here without too much hassle. And then one thing I did notice is it does have a little spot on the USB here, which is nice and that way you don't have to try to worry or you know have to do something weird and cut a hole or anything like that. At first I was having trouble kind of getting this on. I was trying to like wiggle it back and forth. And I think I figured out a solution to get this onto the controller easier and faster without damaging anything. So when you're looking at the mount itself, it's got this little indent right here, which fits with the controller right here. And that also fits with the spark controller. So it pops into that same spot. And so what I was doing at first is trying to go put a little bit here and there and wiggle it back and forth. And what seems to make the most sense is you first, first set it up and put it right here on that little speaker silver tab on the top and pull that up onto this side. 
and then snap this bottom part on first. And then that way, all you have to do is worry about this back piece. So then pick that up just a little bit and get it over that edge and then it'll snap into place. So that way you're not having to try to, you know, figure that out and break anything while you're trying to put that on there. Boom, looks like we're all set up. So now it's got a connection on there and it will hold that mount on there nice and securely. And it's even got the cutouts for the edges here. So that's super nice. Very cool. So then obviously once we've got our bicycle and everything set up, pop it in there, tighten it down and it'll hold that and the controller on the handlebar without me having to do anything or hold anything, but I still have full access and can see what is happening with the actual uh, drone itself when it's flying around. Just to confirm, although the controllers between the Mavic and the Spark are very similar, they are not exactly identical. However, most uh, sizing and everything for fitment on, on cases and whatnot should be pretty much the same. And I did want to let you know that it does work with the Spark controller. So I'll probably be using the Spark since I just got the Spark and I want to kind of try it out and use it more. So I'm going to hook that up and set up the Spark to do some active tracking with me. And of course we'll have the, the iPad on there so that way we can see what's going on. So we'll get that set up and give it a go. I got everything mounted up here. Now I came to a conclusion that you're not going to be able to use a tablet and the tablet holder and this this mount so it holds on there pretty securely however there's a lot of weight when i put the uh, ipad and the tablet holder on there so i'd really suggest only sticking with the phone for use on this which is fine because normally if you're riding around you probably don't want to have a pretty bulky thing um, so keep that in mind that you're going to be using this for phones only so let's get the spark up in the air and see how it does with active track and how much easier it is for me to change the settings and control it now that i don't have to try to hold the the controller and pay attention bike and everything else i can just ride you know obviously check out the spark as it's flying around and see what it's doing on here and being able to, to adjust the settings and control control manually if I need to because everything is right here and there's a little bit of play but nothing too bad I'd rather have it wiggle a little bit than something break so otherwise it looks like I mean, the mount is on there it's pretty secure it's tightened down and I think we're ready to go so let me power this on we'll go ahead and start recording just so that well we've got um, something good here let's go ahead and take off So, got to confirm. So, because I have all full access, which is crazy nice, uh, it should make it easier so I can ride the bike and also have the Mavic follow me. So, let's go ahead. Mavic is flying. So I'm gonna have to stop that, okay? But I'm gonna set up and do active track, okay? Okay. And hit record and go. So we'll back up just a little bit and let's tell it to, uh, rotate around and there's nothing that it can hit so I think we're good for that so I'm just gonna start riding around and see how it does goodness I look I look interesting that's for sure so the tablet holder is doing a pretty good job especially considering it's not really meant for a child's bike and so yeah um, not saying that it won't work because obviously I made it work on here, but it would definitely be easier and I'm sure more firm if you're using it on a regular full-size bike for an adult, which will be great because that way with your, when you're with the kids, you can still have control of the drone and still be able to see what's going on. And what's great is anytime I ever need to do anything, the sticks and controls are right here. So it's super easy to get to. And let me get a little bit more elevation 
which is great because the sticks are here, making it super easy to get a hold of and uh, make an adjustment if I need. And Active Track looks like it's doing a pretty good job keeping me in the frame. And again, if I ever need to, or if I need to stop something, it's the controls are right here. And not that I suggest, you know, riding around with no hands on the bicycle, but at least, you know, especially as an adult, you should be able to ride if you're with your kids. And if you need to stop something or raise up the drone a little bit, you can very easily do so. And I'm sure if someone saw this right now, they would be like, what the heck is this weirdo doing? Because I'm riding around, I've got a camera on my head, a drone controller here, I'm riding a child's bike, and there's a drone following me. So a lot of weird stuff going on. And we'll go ahead and slow down here. So active track, again, is doing really good. The drone is up there, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's flying around and it's got me here in the target. The controller mount is doing a great job holding everything. I have super easy access. So far, the mount hasn't wiggled or come out of adjustment, and the phone has stayed right where it's supposed to be. So, awesome job on this. Everything looked like it went smoothly. Nothing broke or was damaged. The mount held on securely. My phone never had an issue staying in the holder. The mount never moved around. So, it looks like this is a really good thing. So if you need obviously this for like an extreme sport or like you're going downhill mountain biking or something, this is not gonna hold up and that's not gonna be good for the controller, the phone, or any of it. However, if you're just riding around with your family or yourself and you wanna get some cool aerial shots, this is absolutely the way to go. It's way better than trying to, to hold the controller and do all that or have a basket on the bike and have to like pick it up. It's super nice being able to see everything from the screen and whenever I need to access it or or get in control of the drone, I, I can. So it's super nice that it's there. And uh, so yeah, it's just, it's very convenient. So let me bring it in, land it. Super cool. So that worked perfectly, landed. I have full control from my phone and uh, the, the high blocks mount for bicycles is absolutely awesome. And although I wouldn't suggest having a tablet on it, it does hold the phone and it did everything exactly as it was supposed to do. So check out the link in the uh, description here for it. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more weird videos of me riding children's bikes being followed by drones or other stuff. Um, and then obviously comment if you have any questions or if you wanna see another test, let me know and that way I can try to get it done. So cool, thanks guys.